It has been five months since, uh, five months today, as a matter of fact, since Denver police responded to the call of a child who was unresponsive, eight-year-old Demetrius Wilson. His great aunt, Susan Baffour, has told police that she spanked him the night before, but now she is facing charges, charges of first-degree murder and child abuse in connection with the death. For months, 9 News reporter Darius Johnson has partnered with 9 Wants to Know to try and learn what happened to Demetrius. We do want to warn you the details of this case are very difficult to hear, but it's important so this never happens to another child. Here's part one of an ongoing investigation in hopes of finding the gaps that led to his death. Caskets shouldn't be this small. We haven't had a child in our family get killed or be killed or even die. For this family, what is now a reality. It feels like a dream. It still does. What happened to eight-year-old Demetrius Wilson was a nightmare. The service was beautiful. He was in all white. I was in all white. His casket was white, you know. Just an innocent little boy. A tearful service for a little boy gone too soon as loved ones gather in disbelief. I can't believe that we're talking about Michi. We called him Michi Mouse. Candace White remembers her nephew. He was just so cute and he had a smile. Oh my God, worth a million dollars. Anthony Wilson remembers his son. I took him to the park. He was just full of smiles, wanted me to swing with him and go down the slides. I'm too big, but I, I did it anyway. So, <laughs> um, my son. My sister came to a point that she needed help with the children and just being a mom, you know, and things weren't going how she would have wanted them to go. Demetrius was just three years old when his mother was deemed unfit and his father was in jail. That's when family stepped in. The first person we both thought of was Susie because she doesn't have kids. She always took the kids. You know, we knew she would say yes. And just like we thought, she said yes. In 2017, their great aunt Susan Baffour decided to care for Demetrius and his older sister. This is how a lot of families do. Trust somebody with another family member, think everything is okay. They later learned it wasn't okay. Now Demetrius is dead and Susan Baffour is in jail charged with murder. At first, I thought she snapped. I blamed it on like COVID. They were in that small place. She has these two kids, like she just lost it. It wasn't the first time. For Baffour, it would be the final straw. And then it was kind of like, I'm about to show you what I mean. According to court documents obtained by Nine Wants to Know, Baffour told police she went to Home Depot to buy duct tape and a back scrubber to whoop him for discipline. I don't know if it was wooden, plastic. It was thick enough where it's something that wouldn't just easily break and it broke. Baffour told police she made Demetrius take his clothes off. She then taped his mouth, arms together behind him, and ankles together. She then struck him all together about 40 times all over his body. And she made my niece watch the entire time. And if she did not watch, she was gonna be next. The next morning, Demetrius never made it to school. Around 8 a.m., Baffour called Denver police to report he was unresponsive. My sister called their mom and said, my son is dead. She was hysterical. I didn't believe her. I didn't believe it till I called the jail and asked if she was booked. And he said, Susan Balfour was recently booked on first degree and I hung up. And that's when I knew it was true and called my sister back and told her it was true. According to his autopsy, Demetrius died of multiple blunt force injuries with abrasions and contusions covering 30 to 40% of his body. The autopsy also reveals multiple scars indicating a history of abuse. I was numb. Oh my God, I can't believe she would do something like this. Why? When I heard the details of what happened to my son, it crushed me even more. Like my whole Demeanor just changed, man. Like, oh my God, I can't believe she did this to my son. Shock and disbelief that the decision to leave a child in the care of someone they trusted would lead to the loss of their innocent little boy. I still feel like we're gonna go to court and Susan's gonna say somebody came in here and did this to them. Our family trusted you with them. It's hard for me to truly believe this happened. Trust. That's the key takeaway from this story. 
This family trusted their great aunt to care for these children. This family trusted the Department of Human Services to ensure that these children were okay. The Department of Human Services trusted that Susan would be the right fit for kinship placement. Ultimately, they all learned that was not the case. And I think what's even more shocking is we are now gaining new interviews and new documents that are beginning to paint a better timeline and starting to point the finger at all of those who could have prevented this tragedy from happening. It is so sad. So you've been working on this for months. What sparked your interest in doing the story? You know, Corey, Janet Oravetz, our producer, and Anna Houston, the photographer that worked on this with us, are curious minds. Mm -hmm. We saw when it came out and we are like, eight-year-olds don't get murdered. Mm -hmm. Great aunts, women don't often get charged with first-degree murder. There is something else going on with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, many times when this happens, it's it's not a me family member. It's like a, a daycare center somewhere or something like that that may be unlicensed or whatever, but this is all in the family. It's so strange. All in the family, and just like you heard at the end, them easily saying that this was someone that they trusted. This was the person who they chose to take care of Demetrius yeah. as well as his older sister. And you know, that's the hope for this story. We are trying to find the gaps in the system that ultimately led to this little boy's death. This family is heartbroken. His teachers are heartbroken. All of those who knew him, I mean, look at the smile, yeah. you see it. Mm -hmm. And we aren't stopping until we can figure out whoever is responsible for this. This shouldn't happen. And we are fighting to make sure that this doesn't happen to any other family. Tomorrow, Susan is in court and she will either plead guilty or not guilty, we will be there with the family and we will continue our coverage of this ongoing investigation. Yeah, let right. us know what happens for sure. All right. Thank you. Thank you.